when I first got the car, I had to go to my old house uh, where I first fell in love with like Japanese cars. Uh, this lady had a red S14, and I remember I used to play Gran Turismo as a little kid on the first PlayStation. And it was like, oh, you know, 240 is like right next door. It's like also in the video game, it's the coolest shit ever. So I graduated high school and turned 18, and my first car was a Nissan 240SX. The biggest rust bucket ever. I remember like the second day I had that car, the brakes locked up on me at the mall, and I was embarrassed, and like I had to cry. Like I was crying, so I had to leave the car there. And then after that, I sold it, traded cars, sold cars, and I just became good at like getting rid of cars, like bad cars. It was weird. Vandalizing these walls only if they can talk. Conversations don't contemplate to my dark thoughts. Looking down on my soul now. Drifting has always kind of been my scapegoat to life. Um, 240SX has always been like the greatest thing to me. Um, especially like when your car breaks down like three times while you're trying to go to the track. That's the best shit ever. That's the best shit ever. I've always liked Skyline and I've always wanted one, but they were always illegal to import and you have to go through a bunch of loopholes and shit just to import one. So I was like, nah. Um, until the 25 year law became in effect. So after that, I was searching and I came across Nostalgia Imports and he had nothing but good reviews. So I remember the first time I ever called Jason, it was like, this is how the, the conversation was like, hello, thank you for calling Nostalgia Imports. And I was literally just like, so can you get me this Skyline or no? The first wash of every car is always sacred because you finally get to see what your car looks like clean. And like, that's the best that your car is gonna look until you do something else to it. And I mean, I was just amazed. Like my car was so clean and I was so happy with the quality. is uh, right in the middle of me getting my car, my uncle passed away. And I remember I just called him for like an hour, like after I found out that he passed away and like me and him talking jokes on the phone for like an hour. And I mean, I just, I just don't know where you will get any other customer service like that other than with nostalgia.